take a look at the graphic on your screen. Here you see the anatomy of the deal that we described last week. You'll see at the center point of this is an issue. To the outside are positions that parties take on that particular issue. Now, what we know is that sometimes as parties take these positions, they're willing to compromise those positions and try to find middle ground so that they can get the deal done. But many times what happens is it's really difficult to compromise on these positions. And so parties will do things to gain leverage for these positions and in doing so they will escalate the disagreement between them. If this is the only process that is used to construct the deal, what you're usually left with is no deal, no relationship, and a lot of wasted time, money, and resources. Not the best outcome if you ask me. And so what is a sophisticated negotiator to do in this particular paradigm? Well, the answer is this. It is four very important words that I would submit to you can literally change the course of your career as a negotiator. Those four words are go below the line. Now look on your screen. You'll see the line. What I'm suggesting to you here is that you take the conversation in a different direction. Instead of just advocating for your position, and instead of just thinking of ways to gain leverage for your position, have a different conversation. See what the interests are. Now, let me distinguish interest from positions. Positions are things that are very tangible. They're concrete. They're identifiable. You can measure them, and so therefore you can divide them. Interests are very, very different. These are more touchy-feely, as I like to say. They're intangible. They're things that are hard to identify. You can't quantify them, you can't measure them, but they are very, very real to the people involved. Interests are things like egos and fears and motives and principles and values and relationships and circumstances. It's these things that have been proven to be the driving factors for people that are making decisions in the midst of a negotiation. Kind of fascinating, isn't it? It's not based on an objective analysis that necessarily happens above the line. It's more interpersonal and psychological than that. It's these more abstract things that exist below the line but are very, very real to the people involved. And so, one of the things that we have to do as very sophisticated and savvy negotiators is recognize that getting below the line opens the door to a new conversation. It gives us the opportunity to capture some information that we can then use to be really creative, to construct outstanding deals, not only for us, but for the other side as well. In the coming weeks, we'll spend a lot of time thinking about how to capture information below the line and then how to be creative with that information. But for now, remember these four words. They can change the course of a conversation and doing it time and time again can change the course of your success. Go below the line.